Hello, this is Dan Alford with Arc Specialties. Today we have something a little bit different. You have to understand that when I came up with the name Arc Specialties, I was only 23 years old and I'd made the assumption that everything I'd be building would be arc welding based. But that's not the case any longer. Today's application is a material handling job. We're running a couple of KUKA robots. Uh, the larger one that's moving now is 600 kilograms in capacity. What we've done is we've outfitted it with some Zimmer actuators and uh, we've had Joseph detail the, the grippers at the end of the Zimmer actuators. Jose did a great job on the electrical control system. What he did is he ran EtherCAT remote I.O. What this does is allow us to simply run an air line and a single EtherCAT line down the length of the robot's arm. We still get all the I.O. back to the control system with a minimum amount of cabling. Keith wrote the code on this one, and what he did, he's actually using a laser to detect the parts. Because before you grip a part, you have to know where it is. And in our world, nothing is ever repeatable. So with the laser system, Keith will determine where the part is, then he can pick the part up and then move it. John was the project manager on this, and James came up with a clever uh, table system. The smaller robot actually picks up the, the parts and does a sub-assembly, places them on the table, and then the larger robot does the final assembly. We're demonstrating today with a valve. This valve weighs over 500 pounds. This is just to demonstrate our technology, not, not the actual application of this job. So we picked a valve for our demonstration today just because it's familiar to a lot of people. Obviously the gripper is optimized for a very different part. If this was for a valve application, we'd have a gripper gripping on the flanges. Way back in the day, they actually used to build the floors of valve shops out of ingrain wood. And the logic was they could flip the valve on the floor. So when they needed to manipulate the valve, they'd grab a crane, flip it over, and using the ingrain, it wouldn't damage the valve. Uh, eventually, the floor would get beaten up. So you don't think of a robot as something to replace a crane with, but you should. Because if this valve was preheated in particular, it would be very difficult to manipulate and handle. So it makes a great robot job. Because when you tie up a crane, you typically inhibit the production over the entire shop. We use KUKA robots on this because they've got a nice broad line. We're able to pick a lightweight robot to do the sub-assembly and then the heavyweight robot to do the final assembly. That worked out really well. We're pleased with the Zimmer equipment because they have good 3D drawings for us. It, it greatly simplified our design process, and so far they've worked extremely well. So this is a great application for material handling using two robots and a positioning table in between the two. If you have an application like this, give us a call. At Arc Specialties, we thrive on problems. Send us yours.